Hi, in this tutorial we're going to model a dinner plate in Autodesk Fusion 360. Now this is going to be fairly straightforward. We're going to click on front on our view cube. We're now looking at the front of our part and let's come over, over here to the left side and click on this arrow here where it says origin and we're going to select the XY plane which is what comes up for our front plane we're going to come up here and click on create sketch and once we're in create sketch we're going to create a line from the origin out and we're going to set a dimension to be about five inches and once we do that we're going to create a, a three-point arc so come down to the create tab and click on arc three-point arc and let's drag out an arc and if you place this arc uh, until you see this uh, blue come up right here around this point, then you can be assured that this is going to come up, this tangent symbol, meaning that the line is now tangent. So looking at this for our dinner plate, we may want to change the dimensions around a little bit. I'm going to dial this back to four inches. And I'm going to place this about here. And if I'd like, I could set a dimension between this line and this point. And I'm going to make this uh, 1.5 inches. And from here, I'm going to set one more dimension from the origin point to the end of my three-point curve. And I'm just going to set that to be 9 inches. And at this point, we can click on Offset. That's this button right here. And if I select the one line, it's going to select both lines automatically. And our offset position is going to be 0.1. That's the dimension that we want. And we're going to click on flip to flip this offset sketch up. And let's actually dial this up to an eighth inch, so 0.125. We can kind of see how thick this is. That's going to be the wall thickness of our part. So we're going to hit OK. And I'm going to connect these two points with a line. And after that's finished, I'm going to close these two points with a line. And if you look closely, you can see that there's a sort of orange tint or hue in here. And that means that our part is completely closed. So if I hit Finish Sketch, I can come over here to revolve and for axis I'm going to select this line right here and that's going to rotate my sketch so if I click on this edge here on my view cube I can look and see that uh, my profile has been rotated and as a new body so I'm gonna hit OK and from here we're going to create a sketch on the XZ plane this time create a sketch and let's go to create, rectangle, center rectangle, place the center rectangle on the origin, and drag it out for 12 inches by 12 inches. And all you have to do is type in 12 tab 12, and that's going to automatically place it. So if I, I just want to show one more trick here. If I double click on this dimension and I click on this first one, I can link these two dimensions to each other. That's very helpful because these dimensions are the same. So you see this one says 12 and this one says FX12. That's because this one is linked to this. And what we want to do is click on the four lines. And once I select the four lines, I'm going to click over here where it says construction. Click construction. Now they're construction lines. So they're not going to come up in the feature that we create. Now that's going to be helpful. So from here, let's come down to, to create and let's go back to our arc, our three-point arc. Let's drag out a three-point arc, starting on this line, ending on this one, drag it up and touch this line. And I'm going to select this point here and this point here, and I'm going to make them horizontal with each other. And I'm going to select this top line and this curve line and I'm going to make them tangent to each other. 
And I want to set a dimension on this arc. I want the dimension to be, let's try 12. Let's see what that looks like. All right, that, that's about uh, what we want. And I hope this isn't too hard to see. Um, if you want to change your display settings, you can come down here. And under visual style, you can change this to wireframe. And that's going to make this a lot easier to view. So just to recap, we created our square. We made both legs 12 inches. And we linked this bottom dimension to this one. And within my square, I made all these four lines construction by clicking on this construction button right here. And I placed this arc, made the two points horizontal to each other. And now I'm going to do that again. So from here, let me come down to create, click on arc, three point arc. And again, I'm going to select these two points. And I wanna make this arc and this line tangent, clicking on my tangent constraint right there. And I want this point and this point to be vertical with each other this time. And let me do that two more times. Now there are ways to make this a little bit faster, but for this example, we're just gonna do it the slow way so that we, we, can, we can get it right. So let me click on this arc, click on this line, their tangent, and make these two points horizontal. And last one here, arc, three point arc, this point, this point, vertical. And now let me set a dimension for this arc. Actually, there's an easier way to do this. I can select this arc, this arc, this arc, and this arc. And with all four of them selected, let me click on the equal sign. Now they're all equal to each other. So that kind of makes it a little easier for us. And when you're done with your sketch, it should look something like this. So we're going to finish our sketch. And one thing I'd like to show here is if I double click on this dimension and I change it to be say 13, all of them update because they're all equal to each other. Make it 14. Now from here, let's see if we can do our cut. But first, let's edit our sketch. So right click, edit sketch. And we want to cut away some of these lines. So let me cut away this line, this line, this line and this line, this line and this line and these two lines. And you're going to get a, um, a warning here, that's fine. That just means that some of our constraints have, have disappeared, but that's fine. Um, everything looks the way we want it to. So we're going to click on Extrude and our profile is going to come up automatically. And what we want to do is cut upward, except we don't want to cut, we want to intersect. So when you intersect and you hit OK, and let me switch back to a visual style shaded with visible edges only, you're going to see that our shape has been created. And that's along the lines of what we want. And so from here, we're going to click on this bottom face and we're going to create a sketch. And what I want to do is click on this sort of circle here, come down to create, come down to project slash include and project that circle. And let's offset this circle. We wanna offset it inside to let's say about 0.2. I'm gonna type in 0.2 here, negative 0.2 and hit okay. And let's extrude this ring downward by say 0.125 and hit OK. And you're going to see that now we have a nice lip there on our plate. So now we're going to come in and add a couple fillets. I want to add a fillet here and a fillet on this edge. And I also want to flip this around so I can see the rest of it 
I want to add a fillet to this edge right here. And if we look at it from this, we're going to see that we have one more. So I'm going to click on this. And if you look at it directly from the top, you can kind of drag them all in and change the way that it looks. Like you can't go completely in or else you're going to get an error message. So we're going to leave it at about uh, 1.75 and hit OK. And let's add a fillet to our bottom lip right here. So come to fillet and we're going to select this edge here and this edge here as well as this outer edge and the edge on the inside. And let's make this 0.1 inches and let's hit OK. Now the larger your fillet the more you're going to nullify your shape. So if I edit the feature, I may want to dial this back a little bit, maybe to about 40 thousandths of an inch. And that is our plate. It's a double curved surface cut from a dome.